ladies and gentlemen, very special car, one of my all-time favourite vehicles, the Lexus LS series. Lexus formed in 1989 and debuted the LS400 in 1990 to compete with the S-Class and the 7 Series and it's been going strong ever since. This particular example is the LS460. It is the cream of Lexus, the creme de la creme, the flagship, the cruise liner, which is why I'm going to say welcome aboard when I hop in right now. It is absolutely stunning. And there's more techno wizardry than you could possibly find in a spaceship aboard this car. Uh, the Germans are a little more subtle about it. The Japanese, they, they like to put all their little uh, bells and whistles in your face. So I'm going to do my best to explain some of the highlight features of this car. It's going to be an extended video. So let's see how we get on. Push button start, of course, firing her up. All the windows are one touch automatic. And immediately I've got beautiful cold air blowing on me. Hit the nav to agree. Obviously you've got Australian maps loaded up at the moment. I'm just gonna turn the air down a little bit because it is a bit cold. Obviously that's your main interface screen. It can tell you your climate, your audio, all the car information, calendar, maintenance, parking, you name it. Down here we've got heated and ventilated front. That's heated and ventilated front seats for the front passengers. We also have them in the rear, but I'll get to that a bit later. Here we have rear climate control button. These are for the rear blinds. So if I punch that, this blind comes up on the rear, and if I punch it here, it comes up on the side. So you can completely black out this vehicle if you've got babies or you're just tired. Gets rid of that harsh Aussie sun. Large sunroof, and what I particularly like about this is it's wrapped in Alcantara. It's not carpet, it's, it's, it's a um, man-made suede and it feels fantastic. Leather grip, leather and walnut steering wheel, multimedia of course, and we do have this nice little hold feature, so if you don't want to keep your foot on the brake at the traffic light because that's just oh so difficult, Lexus allows you to push that button and uh, it'll do it for you. <laughs> we also have a heated steering wheel, which is nice. Those cold days, little coins holder there. Obviously, this car is built for supreme quiet, so um, even though I rev the big uh, 4.6 liter V8, you're not gonna hear much. Just listen to how quiet that is. Out on the road, this is, you know, library quiet. They didn't put in the uh, cranky librarian though to tell you off when you speak. Obviously leather, very thick carpets. In the back, it's the business end, but I'd just like to demonstrate I didn't close my door properly and it will pull itself shut. Here we go, these are electrically adjustable back here. I'm gonna come back though, I think to show you all the power options though, I should probably leave it running. Alrighty, sitting back here, the business end. I'm six foot and 112 kilos, and I have an infinite amount of knee room, and that's set in my position in the driver's seat too. I've got air vents everywhere, on the roof, on the B pillar, and on the center console. I've got a vanity mirror, so I can uh, see how good looking I am. <laughs> Just joking. Here we've got the uh, rear seat MMI system, so you can do your climate control, it's individual. You can adjust your seats electronically, you can even do the radio and the CD from back here. Opening up the glove box, the goodies continue. So we have heated and ventilated rear seats as well, which are a nice feature. And here, we have the controls for this um, rear seat MMI system. So you fold that down too, and you can also control the nav, the destinations, just via this remote here. So I hit agree, I guess. I'll have to do it up the front. 
but anyway once you unlock that you know you get all the features like DVD video map anything you want if you don't want it fold it away slots down in there here we've got reading lights huge speakers everywhere in the roof above your head at the back there we've even got a nice little wine cooler back there which is a lovely feature it keeps all your drinks cool on a long voyage memory seats as well back here it's uh it's so comfortable i really don't want to get out we love to find these at the old timer center they're rare they were incredibly expensive when new and they don't have the servicing or reliability issues of the flagship european cars so effectively, you can have this serviced at a Toyota dealer. It's beeping now to let me know it's lost detection of the proximity key. I can pop the boot remotely as well, which is nice. And I'll just turn the car off and try again. Take two. There we go. So you just hold down this little button and the boot will open up for you. It is cavernous. We've got all the Lexus books there. Please refer to the photos for the service history. We've got the valet pack as well, which is nice. And we've got the original cargo netting too. Under here, you have a full-size spare. None of that German run flat or dicky wheel business. Full complement of tools and all the warning triangles and everything are intact. This wheel looks as though it might never have been on the car. So as I said, to close the boot, just press the button. Down she comes. And that's pretty much it for today. To go over everything individually, uh, the video would probably need to be about an hour long that extensive really is a wonderful car so quiet so reliable if you're after supreme comfort this is it we're the old timer center you can find us at 101 to 103 illawarra road in marrickville and we'd love to hear from you